Hey everyone, my name is Ben. I'm a senior immigration specialist here at BDV Solutions. And today we are gonna talk about a consular processing case for a, a citizen of Bangladesh who did their consular processing while living in Malaysia. To start off the process, as many of you may already know, they began by filing the LC on May 26 of 2020. The LC is just short for labor certification. And that process is an application that your sponsor will send to the Department of Labor to prove that they have taken the appropriate steps to be able to sponsor you for your visa. A few months later, their labor certification was audited. Usually those are just sent totally at random. A lot of times it can sound a little bit scary that you've been audited, but it's a totally routine procedure. It doesn't mean anything is wrong with this person's case. It doesn't mean anything is wrong with their sponsor. The Department of Labor is just looking to make sure that the sponsor followed all of the appropriate steps so that they can sponsor your visa. And so you can see pretty quickly thereafter, the LC was approved in April of 2021. And from there, you move out of the stage with the Department of Labor on to actually filing for your green card. The first step in that process when you're in consular processing is to file what's called the I-140. And what that does is it preserves your labor certification for USCIS, which is the American government's immigration service, so that they also can confirm again that the Department of Labor took all of the appropriate steps so that your employer can sponsor your visa. We usually do that through premium processing, and that process usually takes around two months. And so you can see here it took only a few weeks going from July into August before that I-140 was approved. When you're doing consular processing, you then move from the I-140 approval to filing your DS-260. And this process, once you get to this stage, there's a lot of variability on how long it can actually take depending on where you live and depending on which consulate you are applying through. So this individual went through Malaysia and their process ended up going pretty quickly. You can see September of 2021, all the way to getting their interview just a few months later in February of 2022. Malaysia usually moves people through pretty quickly. And shortly thereafter in October of 2022, their visa was already approved. This process went relatively smoothly and ended up taking only about 29 months. So each person's case will be unique and meet its own challenges or be maybe smoother or tougher than anyone else's. Uh, but this is just one example of the way a consular processing case can go.